hello everyone so today we are going to work on synchronizing the sprinting animation and the walking animation so last time we worked on uh, synchronizing the walking animation with the speed the actual speed so today we are going to do the same thing for sprinting and running so right let's see let's get started okay so now that we have worked on the synchronization for the work animation now let's see look into other animations so that means uh, running and sprinting but uh, since this at this stage the character and speed is a little faster so therefore we don't really see any problems but anyway uh, let's slow down the time and see how they looks let me open the script and Mm -hmm. Where did I do that? Right, so here I'll re enable this part so that I can slow down the time scale and see what's going on. So the start is not smooth at all. but not a big deal so this is running now and yeah as you can see when running the character is clearly sliding forward so when the foot is on the ground you can see it's sliding forward and it's not staying in the same place as the character moves forward so all right so the wait the running let's check the running speed first running speed should be well I don't remember now it's seven eight nine wait uh, let's go here in the character moment and what's the running speed we have set 6.7 okay so why then it's okay so here we have set max speed as 10 but and in, in the beginning i think it would be better to set the characters speed the default state default moment state as working so to do that here i'll call toggle no, uh, character moment what's the set moment mode right set moment mode to moment mode work right now if I prevent going on full scale so just notice the max speed here is 10 all right now it's 2 because now we are in the working speed so if I press caps lock it increased to 6.7 
so this is, we don't see much of sliding but still not perfect so either we should reduce the running speed or we should increase the plane speed of the animation so let's try changing the plane speed well actually this 6.7 is kind of odd so therefore I'll set 7 for the run speed and mm, yeah in the animator This is the running part, so it's 6.7 at the moment. I'll set it to 7 and speed to 1.2. And let's see how it looks now. Right, better. Not really. Let's give six as the running speed and keep this one 1.1 and here also I need to change now running speed to 6 quickly Now the current speed is 4.7, 4.8, 4.9. You can see that in the console if you don't remember. Still not perfect, but better than before. Okay, then if there is a problem, let's try 5 for running speed. I need to say that here, yeah, sir. Since we are working with slow time, it's, it takes time to get up to the speed, but we can see the results clearly in this case, in this way. Okay, I think that's good enough. Yeah, that's better. Right now, let's see about sprinting. So the sprinting speed is 
10 mm. but I think 10 would be too much so let's try 7 and in the animator set this one to 7 and let's see how it looks Now we are at 5.8, 9, 6, 6.2, 3. Okay, I think it's better. Maybe we should increase the speed of the animation a little bit other than that it looks fine let's see let's try 1.1 and now I'll disable this time slowdown thing I have done here Let's go full screen and see the final look. Okay, so this is working perfect, and this is running good. We don't see any slide in here, and this is a sprinting. alright looks like a better character now okay and what else we have to do we have another blends place for crouching but I will stop this episode at this point so in the next episode let's look into smoothing and make this crouching animations synchronize with the crouch speed and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link could be in the description below and thank you for watching see you in the next episode so i have released another source code episode so if you want you can download it from my patreon page and thanks again see you in the next episode goodbye